This is the GCN Brompton. So far, it's spent its life like many folding bikes, doing short trips to and from train stations and cruising through the busy city streets. But things are about to change as I try to turn this into a MTB Rompton. I'm not yet sure if this is a good or a bad idea, but I'm on a mission to find out. First, let me answer an important question. Why are we doing this? Because why the hell not? Bikes are meant to be fun. This is a fun bike, so let's make it more fun. So behind me is an upgrade kit for the Brompton. Big wheels, big tires, disc brakes, new forks, new rear triangle, new gears. I think you can see where this is going. Let's get building. few minutes into the build already, we're at the most exciting bit so far, which is this. The whole rear triangle of the new big chunky boy is on. It's been a bit of a pain to change, but this thing's gonna be absolutely insane. Now, for those of you who were wondering why the hell I am actually building this, I know I was just saying it's for fun, but Sai is the brains behind this. He ordered all the parts, he ordered all the kit, and if you head over to GCN, he's gonna be riding this bad boy. So. Um, Let's crack on the build. He's got our bike to ride, hasn't he? We've got front wheel to sort out. Ah, <sighs> back to it. <laughs> Handlebars off next. This is gonna be one big chunky bit out of the way. And it's been quite a long time since I've had anything to do with this headset design, but it's pretty simple and um, user-friendly. Undo this, slide this boy up out of the way, put that to the side. We'll definitely be needing the handlebars again. I've got a solution. I'm gonna stack up this little pile of sockets inside the tool to bridge the gap between the inside of the tool and the top of the Brompton steerer. Whatever, never problems, only solutions. Right, let's get these boys inside. I mean, like, what an anticlimax. It literally just worked with minimal effort. All of that, hard work. You get that one little piece. Crown raise off, crown raise on. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Whoa, 
Christ alive, who put that thing together? Beautiful. We've made it go, we just now need to be able to make it stop. On to the brakes next. Boom. So here it is, the finished bike. We've now got larger 20 inch wheels, a big knobbly 2.4 inch wide off-road tires, an extended steel rear triangle, upgraded steel fork, cable disc brakes, and this wonderful Shimano 11 speed internal geared hub. Right, there's two more jobs that remain. First thing involves my Sharpie pen, where I'm gonna rename it the MT B dash Brompton. I'm sure Sy will hate that I've written on his bike. Um, the other question that remains, does it still fold? I'm gonna count that as a success. If you wanted to get this on a train or travel with it, technically you still could. Yes, it's not quite as refined as the original Brompton, but um, whatever. This one can go off-road. As I mentioned, if you want to see this bike in action, being ridden off-road, head over to GCN. Size is going to put it through its paces. But for now, that's this GCN tech video wrapped up. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the build. And as always, if you want to see more cool videos like this, subscribe to GCN Tech. I'm out of